I have to say, I never heard Metro Boomin speak other than being on the track talking about some Metro Boomin want some more, nigga. Yeah, and doing things like that. Like, that's the only time I've heard him, like, you know, this is gonna be the, fir the first time I've, like, heard him, like, speak. You know, it's Metro Boomin shows off his insane jewelry collection. So, he's gonna be showing off all of his bling, bling, bling. So, this video was requested. I'm gonna be reacting to this. But before we get into this reaction video, make sure you guys show some love to that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so that you do not miss any of my reaction videos, all right? Let's hit this thing off. If I untangle my freaking headphones, there we go. <laughs> you know, since I was a child, I always had a, you know, a desire for jewelry. I feel like it represents a lot of things, you know, individuality, royalty. Hey, you got you a Darth Vader like one? Looking myself like a king. Really? What's up? This is Metro Boomer, and I'm gonna show you some of my jewelry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's Boomer pieces. This is one of the first pieces I got. My boy Elliot Aviani. I, I give him my ID all the time, and we come up with a design for everything. And I told him I wanted just a boom in him, like just to look like a comic book, like the power or whatever. Mm -hmm. I'm very meticulous with designing the jewelry, you know, just as producing songs or getting dressed, anything. I was in the studio for like three days putting together Low Life <laughs> with Weekend in the Future. It was just a moment I remember so vividly. Like, I was so happy about that song. I love that song. And yeah, I was just wearing the chain in the studios. I don't know about everybody else, but for me, when I buy jewelry, they're like, they're trophies. So when I got everything, like, I know what was going on or why I got it. Dang, I just that's... got this dropped out to me like a week yeah, ago. Yeah, Darth Vader It's all pendant. white stones. So everything's white, white gold. They had to cut like this triangle diamond, like on the mouthpiece part. I definitely always grew up loving Star Wars. It's definitely a big thing for my family. And a lot of stuff, there's new Luminati. stuff doing. It's all like 3D. And I got these right here. Boominati pendants. Label, you know, Boominati. I got this one first, CEO on the bottom. And then I got one reverse in rose gold with white gold on top. Is there any, any colored stones? Any like... I don't really like that shit. You don't like colored, colored stones. stones. Oh, that shit ain't where it's at. The so Icy Boys, I got this made when Gucci was locked up. That's his old label, original. So, you know, I was a big fan during those days, so. And then just everything with me and him in my career, I just wanted to get that, like, as a symbol of appreciation for him. Quavo gave this to me one day. You know, bad and bougie, and hmm. cultural and platinum and everything. So they got some chains made, and he gave me one of these. You know, XO, that's family. My brother Cash on the weekend. Cash, I got this for me. Dang, that's I got this because from though. St. Louis, so I got the Cardinals logo. It's diamond, white gold with the rose gold on the outline of the STL. So I got this cross because, you know, that's definitely what means the most to me. I just wanted to get something like that subtle I could just always have. Got this lightning bolt. Got the <laughs> Like the emoji. Elliot just had this one day, I liked it. It has a couple meanings, something like another eye watching over you or some shit. This actually I didn't design to have him do. He actually already had it made. And, and I wave? saw him put it on Instagram yeah. one day. The wave is wave like, you know, what's just going on. It mix and match. Like, I feel like it's like dressing up. It's not all about just throwing all this shit on at one time. I feel like that ruins it. All this stuff is so custom. I want you to appreciate and focus on the detail. Like you're not gonna appreciate this as much if I got like four other chains on with it. You know, everything is a process, so it's not like I just bought a bunch of jewelry at one time over a couple years, few years, just, you know, piece by piece. So, I mean, this is like the first ring I got from him. It's this wedding band. Hey. Got a rose one from him one time. And then I remember one time he had shown me this. This is a pinky ring, but it was three rings they actually like welded together or some shit. This pinky ring. It's one of the other first rings I had. This ring, same thing, but this is three rings. Got these rings. Hey, he might as well be like a basketball player with all those dang on rings. Maybe five. Between both hands. Now I'll just throw like two on one hand. I got these tennis bracelets, were some of the first ones I got from them. These are white, it's all white gold with uh, emerald cuts. I'm definitely into these, just something hey. different. Like, these are just straight pointers. Like, these are probably like 25 pointers or something. I might just wear these two on this arm and wear one on the other arm. I had three of these, but I had gave one to my girlfriend because I love them. <laughs> Dang, chains going these in. These two are rose gold. You know, 
these are two of my favorites. These are 40 pointers. Sometimes I might put a couple of these on and just tuck them in just for like, just accents. Rose gold. This is like a 35 pointer white chain. This one of the longer ones. And this one, just a little chain, just a tiny one. You know, just more subtle. You know, I just put my cross on there sometimes and just throw it on top of whatever I got on. Me and Southside had a show in LA one time. It was just going so crazy. And then I went to the front of the stage and then I remember I just went back to the DJ booth. And I just remember looking down and necklace was on, but it was like hanging from my neck and my shirt and the pendant wasn't on there anymore. And that was early on before I had this much. So that was like one of my two or three pieces. So yeah, I took an L on that one that day, but you know, you got insurance. As a kid, I had like watches too, you know, high school, I was in the G-Shocks. Even the little watches they would have in McDonald's and Burger King and shit. Like, you put those on with an outfit, that should be all right. This rose one right here, this is a Rolex. I guess it's 41 millimeter. Presidential rose gold, some diamonds around the bezel. This is a Rolex right here. It's the newest watch I got. This is a Rolex, this is a Jubilee. The Jubilee band. Okay, 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 doing. okay, and okay. He rocking all these watches, watch, man. They ain't it's killing nice it. down the face, but it's just nice. It's more subtle. This right here. Hey. This protect Philippe white gold, you know, straight from Aviani. And this, definitely a trophy right here. This is AP Audemars Skeleton white gold. They call it a skeleton because you could see right through it. <laughs> this watch I have on is my favorite watch. This one I wear every day. This is a skeleton too. It's rose gold, but it's plain. Just a couple Cartier braces or something. Let's put that bed a lot of times or in front of it or whatever. This you first case I got, I got this case. You know, you hold the rings up there and all that. And I can keep all my pieces in bags just so the air and the dirt just don't get on them while I'm not wearing them and stuff. This is a velvet case I actually got from Elliot. They actually designed at the shop. This Dang. is the home case. It's probably my favorite case just because it's so mobile. You just roll it out. There's so many pockets in it. You can put a lot of stuff in here. That's oh, a Louis Vuitton watch case. It holds three. This is probably the best watch case. Every day, I get stopped in the airport about this. That's just what it is. <laughs> my boy, that's my boy right here, you know, Eliante, the world famous, you know, infamous Elliot. He's always starting something new, so now he's got this. This is really one of my favorite pieces, period. You know, he's got his name and he's got the tennis chain, like, attached. We connect so well because even on a music level, I feel like I'm always trying to be innovative or just do what everybody's not doing or what's next. And he's the exact same way for jewelry. Every piece that he got represents something like yeah. trophy, trophy basically. Like he told me every time he buys a new, a new piece of jewelry, he makes a new beat and the title of the beat is the new piece of jewelry. <laughs> oh, man, gotta come on, bro. Straight up. It's Young Metro three times. I'm here with my boy Elliot Aviani and my boy Gunnar Starr. You know, we just went over some of these pieces and, uh, you know, we out of here. Ha! Huh. That was nice, man. Hey, actually, Metro Boomin, you got him and you got DJ Khaled that inspired me to, you know, make beats myself. So, maybe one day I get up to their to they level, you know. Just keep working hard. Keep working hard. So, hey, there you go. There you guys have it. If you guys like my reaction to this, push the comments down below, like and share with all your friends, subscribe to this channel for more reaction videos. Make sure you guys give this video a like. Jenga holding it down for 1,000 subscribers, and Jenga is out.